Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to revisit a pen I've revisited a few times, primarily because I enjoy writing with this pen as much as I enjoy writing with any pen, and I do have a few of them. So this pen you saw in my video about pens that broke because this uh, cap band here had come off. I just used a little bit of my clue, clear Gorilla Glue, put it on, and I don't think it's going to come off again. You also saw this pen almost empty of ink, but you saw a lot of ink in the section around the nib. So I disassembled the pen, and, and this is the second four, five, six I've disassembled. To me, cleaning it out without disassembling it is, is not going to work. So I did this because I want to put in a new ink that I haven't used before. I got this recently. And I was in, enthused about it. Lamy is good at kind of hiding the name of the ink, but they put color on there to kind of indicate what kind of ink it is. And of course I've done my color card. It's a nice, I'd call it purplish blue and there's some interesting sheen going on there in that little blob that I have down there. And the chromatography shows a pretty clean ink, no water resistance, but a pretty intense color. So the other thing I want to do is, is I want to swap out the nib you know, this has that standard uh, two-tone Pen BBS nib, the original one. So obviously I bought this medium round nib in this beautiful holder, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to take out the fine one I have in this 471. So let's reassemble, swap the nib out, and see how the pen will write. You may ask, you don't have only one, four, five, six, and that is correct. So this is that one that glows in the dark. Yeah, I'm not a real fan of it, but you know, it is a unique pen. Here's your clear one, the 16 uh, color. Here's the summer one. Here is the um, polar ice, or I forget exactly what it's called, and here's autumn, which you may recognize because Wasky Squirrel has one of those. And I also have to admit that I have one more 456 coming. Yes, I wasn't going to buy any pens in April, but the vermouth one with gold trim was back out. And as you, um, some of you may remember, my original vermouth 456 has gone on to greener pastures. So I needed to replace it, speaking of greener pastures. So one thing this small collection of Pen BBS pens illustrates is the phenomenal variety that they give you from finishes, colors, acrylics. You know, these are all extremely well made, and yeah, the cap band came off, but that was an easy fix. So at the end of the day, I find this to be an incredible range, and I don't know of any other pen manufacturer who gives you that incredible range. There must be over a hundred of them now so far. Plus, they also do all metal. They constantly change and revise their designs and make small improvements to them. So, kudos. I'm very, very impressed. And it's nice to see what pens are produced from people who just love pens. And they are doing a good job. Distribution is certainly a challenge. And sometimes I missed out on all the checkerboard design ones, but that was in the month of April, so I was kind of a little bit restrained, but I can't imagine what Pen BBS is going to be doing in the next couple months or, or certainly in the next year, but I certainly look forward to it. So here we have the uh, pen assembled, and I silicone greased all the connections, and I want to show you something I find amazing. So you push this down, and it pushes back up. I mean, I silicone grease the rod, I silicone grease the piston, I silicone grease those O-rings, and 
that vacuum is so intense that's amazing so I think I'm gonna get a really nice fill with this one uh, because of how that vacuum is is about as good as you can possibly get I pulled that fine medium nib out of here and that's just unscrewing the nib assembly and we'll take a quick look at the two nibs So I have a, a couple fines inked up and I'm very, very pleased with them. So we're going to just insert this. And I've silicone greased these two O-rings also. You know, it's, it's about as easy as you can get swapping these nibs in and out. I mean, it is a beautiful bottle with a beautiful lid. But 30 milliliters of ink for this price is certainly on the high side. So here we go. This is always uh, not the easiest thing to do. So we're going to insert it into the bottle of ink and it just barely fits in there. Push down the plunger and we fill with ink. So I'm going to leave it go with that fill. I think I can get more, but let's just see how this writes. Here we have examples of writing with the different Pen BBS nibs. This was written with a Lamy 1.1 stub because I just liked the way it looked and I wanted a different font for the title. So this is the rounded fine, the one I put in the 59 Dawn, the 456, and with the Lamy Azurite. Very interesting purple. And as a comparison, here's another rounded fine in a 471. And it has Monteverdi Mulberry Noir. And they're very similar in the way that they work, but obviously you can see that the Lamy ink is certainly wetter and, and lays down a heavier line. And then we go to the rounded medium, and it is, I'd say, about 50% wider. So generally, if a fine is around 0.5 millimeters, a medium is around 0.7, so, you know, 50% bigger is about right. And here I have three examples. And with uh, Diamine Bilberry and Monteverdi Mulberry Noir, the same ink here. So these two both have the same ink in them. And Monteverdi Wisdom. So these are both fairly saturated, lubricated inks. And they put down a decent line. I mean, all of these rounded nibs just have an interesting writing style to them and writing feel. Now if we look at the standard fine, which has been in most of the pen BBS pens, and it comes in both a silver, occasionally you'll find a gold tone one, and in some of the 456s and, and 355s, etc., you might find a two-tone one, which I think is considered maybe a little bit of an upscale in the nib. So this is definitely appears to be finer than the rounded fine and certainly finer than the medium and still puts down a decent patch of ink. So we're doing a close up now of the three nibs written with uh, two different inks and two different pens. So I think this certainly shows off that the standard fine is definitely a finer line than the rounded fine. And when looking at the nibs, that appears to be obviously the, there's rounded tipping material and a more standard nib configuration on the rounded fine versus the soft fine, which has kind of a little bit of an upturn on it and less tipping material. And the medium one is definitely a wetter, wider line. So hopefully that makes um, visual sense. So I thought I'd finish up with some live writing with this rounded fine nib.
with this Lamy Azurite ink. Excellent combo, really like it. It just lays down a consistent nice line, which is what you really want. So I'm happy with this nib swap. And we're going to continue to explore nibs and pen BBS pens. It seems to be popular. So we've reached the end of this video, so thank you for watching. May you have many great, exceptional, rewarding writing experiences. Enjoy your pens, your inks, and your papers. So this is the end for now. Until the next video, bye. I'm enjoying this, and it will be an EDC for me. Must keep the nib on the paper for it to write.